Hi, this is Therapette Bailey. I can't believe it's almost the end of the school year. I feel like I just met you and you read stories to me the first time. Well, today I'd like to read you a story. Since it's the end of the school year and some of you might go on vacation this year, I wanted to read you a story about a dog that went on vacation to the sea. It's called Harry by the Sea by Jean Zion and pictures by Margaret Bloy Graham. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything about the seashore except the hot sun. One day when the sun was hotter than ever, Harry looked for a shady place to sit. But when he tried to get under the family's beach umbrella, it was too crowded and the family made him leave. When he crawled into the children's sand castle, the walls fell in and the children chased him away. When he walked in the shade that a fat lady made, She became angry and made him stop following her. Get lost, she said. She was very annoyed. The sun was very hot and Harry had walked a long way from the main beach. He was tired. So he sat down at the water's edge. All of a sudden, a big wave came from behind and crashed right on top of him. When the wave rolled back, Harry was left floating in the water. He was completely covered with seaweed. He didn't look like a dog anymore. He looked like something from the bottom of the sea. Suddenly, a lady saw him floating toward her. Help, help, she shrieked. It's a sea monster. The lifeguard heard her and blew his whistle. Everybody out, he shouted, everybody out. Everyone ran out of the water and so did Harry. He was still covered with cold, wet seaweed. It made him feel cool and comfortable and now he didn't mind the sun at all. He felt so good, he started running back to his family. On his way, some people saw him it's a sea serpent, one of them screamed. It's a giant sandworm, shrieked another. Harry had water in his ears and could hardly hear them. He kept on running towards the main beach. When he got there, Harry stopped and stared. Instead of just his family's umbrella, now there were hundreds of them. They were all striped, just like his family's. Harry couldn't tell one umbrella from another. Suddenly, two beach attendants saw him. Holy smoke, one of them gasped. What's that? It's a bushy-backed sea slug, exclaimed the other. They whispered for a moment, then they ran. Harry went from umbrella to umbrella, but he couldn't find his family. Everyone wore sun hats and sunglasses, and everyone used suntan oil 
just like his family. Harry looked and sniffed very hard, but it was no use. Harry couldn't tell one family from another. Suddenly, the two beach attendants came running back carrying a big trash basket. They ran toward Harry. Stand back, one of them said to the crowd. We're going to catch it and take it to the aquarium, said the other. Then they tiptoed right up behind Harry and raised the trash basket over his head. Harry didn't know the beach attendants were behind him. He was listening to something. He thought he heard someone calling his name. There it was again. Harry, Harry, Harry. Now Harry was sure. He didn't wait another second. Just as the basket came down, he ran. He ran right out from under the basket. It happened so fast, the beach attendants just stood there with their mouths open. As he raced through the crowd, some people screamed, some people ran, and some people did both. But Harry paid no attention. He kept on running across the beach. When he got to the hot dog stand, he stopped and barked happily. Behind the counter, the hot dog man was shouting. It was his voice that Harry had heard. But Harry had water in his ears and couldn't hear very well. The man wasn't shouting, Harry, Harry, Harry. He was shouting, hurry, hurry, hurry. Get them while they're hot. Harry still thought the man was calling his name. Harry barked and jumped with joy. He jumped so much that suddenly the seaweed fell off. And when the crowd saw that Harry was a dog, they gasped. They could hardly believe their eyes. All at once, Harry began to jump higher than ever. He saw the children. They were running toward him. Oh, Harry, they cried. We heard you bark. We've been looking all over for you. Harry was so happy, he did a little dance. The hot dog man was very grateful to Harry for bringing the crowd to his stand. He sold all the hot dogs he had. He gave Harry a free hamburger. The lady who told Harry to get lost came along and bought him a cold drink. You're no sea monster, she said. You're just a lost hot dog. Everyone laughed except the two children. He is not lost, one of them said. He's Harry, and he's ours. Then they hurried off to join the rest of the family. The next time Harry's family went to the beach, they brought a new umbrella. Harry liked this one very much. It was white with black spots. No matter how crowded the beach became, it was easy to find. But best of all, it was big. And when the sun got hot, there was room underneath for them all. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this story about Harry by the sea. I hope you have a good summer and read lots of exciting books.